All right, I think it's time to get a little serious, gamers. We've been uh, putting it off too long. If we wait any longer, the bad guy's gonna win. I'm gonna be real though, I think Vermeyer is the best mission in the game. It's just fun and dramatic. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Got a clean drop, Commander. Don't get too cocky, Joker. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Also, I'll show you guys. I've done basically every quest. I just did it secretly because I didn't feel the need to do all of it on camera. You did not need to see me look for rare metals and elements and, and all of that. I, and I bet you didn't want to either. But if you did, I'm sorry. In the meantime, there's been a battle going on here the whole time that I've just been, oh, murdered. I've just kind of been uh, not doing the main event, but here we are. And there's the bad guys on cue. Uh, red flag, it's not letting me save. I've learned my lesson, but it's not letting me save, so I, I am I am smited, I guess. We're just gonna have to play a safe game. Alright. I think the game is out to kill me at this point. Uh oh. Oh, get out. Oh my god. Not good. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Is he gonna do experiments on us? Are they gonna probe us? Hello, everybody! So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirihi. It's the man, the, the myth, the you legend the himself. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Oh, that's just great. What now? We stay put until the council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. <gasps> How is that possible? Apparently Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. He's a lying sack of shit. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Oh, you got in pissed off my dog. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Don't worry about it, Captain. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. I don't want to talk to either of you. Why are you talking to me? Just drop it. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. Don't you fucking... Dare. Alright, Rex, I know... I know shit's been bad, but... Why are you pointing again? This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. 
Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. He wants to use them for bad things, Rex. And you know that. I shouldn't have to explain that to you, Rex. Indulge me. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Uh! Rex. All you need to know is that I'm giving you an order to fall in line. So that's it. All this time and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Well, absolutely fucking not. I don't want to be mean to him, though. I'm... I'm... I don't want to be mean to him. He's my best friend. Saren doesn't care about these Krogan. They're tools. Puppets. He'll destroy them as soon as they're no longer useful to him. Is that what you want for your people? No. We were tools from the Council once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. There we Just go. One thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. That's fine. See, I knew... Oh. I knew you could come to your senses in that big cranium of yours. He's not very enthusiastic about it, though. But that's fine. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. No one asked you. Well where, are, where are my other teammates? My better teammates? Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. Oh! We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Oh, you if you insist. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. Uh, okay. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? <laughs> She's not wrong. Oh, I don't really particularly care. Alenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple. Understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. Shut up. I... Here we go. This is it. This is the game. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Yes. Good luck, Commander. I hope we'll meet again. You hold that line, sir. You hold that line on the end, on the front lines. Hold that line at the grocery store. You hold that line at any job you got, boy. Fire is coordinated on monobite. We can't reach the gas turrets. They're out of range. Well, we call this the long walk. You have been effectively disrupted, sir. I get Paragon for that? Contacts, Why? I get Paragon for doing the bare minimum? You know, being a considerate human being is not 
I mean, I guess it's the bare minimum. I don't need your damn Paragon points muddying up my Renegade and making me purple instead of red, okay? I don't need it. Now see, with this song, this is what we call an epic standoff. I feel like I haven't had one of those in a while. Oh god, Krogan. Oh god, fake Krogan. Clone Krogan. You're not real. You can't hurt us. If you don't if you don't do those things for to help, Kiri will just die, by the way. But we don't want that. I wasn't gonna kill Kiri, are you kidding? He is like my favorite character. Most important. Ow. What the hell was that? Uh well, I wouldn't have to hear screaming and death happening if the music did stop. Shadow team must be getting close. Hold the line, men. Hold the line. You hold that line. Little frog beings. Oh, there we go. Hey. It's bumping again. Hello? Is someone out there? Hello, yes. Prisoners. By and by, fucking nerds. That is bold of them to point guns at me when they have the body of a sponge. These look docile. Their minds are gone. No, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure. Leave them like this. Oh, hell yeah. Cold. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I don't believe you. Everyone in this place is trying to kill me. Do I look like a soldier? I'm a neurospecialist, and this job isn't worth dying over. Or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. Give me one reason I should help you. I... I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. Mm. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? Nope. Bye. You conducted brutal experiments on helpless test subjects. You helped Saren. You don't get to live. I just did what I was told. I didn't have a choice. I'm sorry. Too late, bucko. Sorry doesn't help your victims. No! No! That doesn't make me a bad guy, does it? I'm not a bad guy. I'm a good guy. We're going deep into the neural network. Shepard, look over here. It's another beacon. Like the one on Eden Prime. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, you're gonna make me walk all the way down. Sounds very active out there. Let's ignore it. Is this one gonna blow up in my face too? Yeah, you know, when you watch a movie five times and you still don't like it, that's this. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. Are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. The big crab is sentient. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. 
The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. Oh, we're getting roasted. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. Whatever your plan is, it's gonna fail. I'll make sure of that. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. A cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance. And at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us! Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out! You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Lay it on me, Joker. I love bad news. That ship Sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. We need to wrap things up in there fast. Oh! There's nothing we can do here. Idea, Shepard? We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joke around. Oh, uh, we gotta go before Kingler kills us. Zip zoom. Get in the room. Well, this is more of a hallway now, isn't it? Have you ever thought maybe we deserve to be completely genocided by machines? I think about that often. I think, what have I done today to deserve to be killed by a giant mechanic crab in the sky? It could have been that one time I drew on my mom's furniture and she got really mad about it. Or all those times that I might have left gum under the school table. Could have also been that time I made a girl cry during her art critique. Good work on the gun shadow team. Now it's our turn. Oh, you're still alive? Cool. Great, I'm glad I did the right thing. Do the damn thing and do it right. Please come pick me up. Oh, oh, that was us. Okay. Good news. That doesn't sound good. Oh, it's us. <laughs> Sounds like a screaming banshee. Ah, uh, there we go. It looks like a bug. Don't drop that. That'd be horrible. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. That sucks, Caden. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold them as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. You sure? 
Up to the AA tower. Move. Oh, we really don't have to. It's not really a loss. Oh, but this is a this is a good team. That's all I really care about. My boys in blue. Scales, leather, blue blood, and all. Fine, we gotta go fucking put our asses on the line to save Caden. Best character in the series. You know, rule number one is we're not supposed to split up, guys, and this is what happens. Hold on, Chief. I'm coming back to get you. Negative! It's too late for us! There's just too many of them! I'm activating the nuke! Ah! Uh. What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Hmm... Buy that! We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams. Oh, Ashley or Caden? Ashley or Caden? Let me sit here and ponder that. Can I kill both? Well, I'm sorry, man. But, uh, you just don't make the cut. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes. Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Of course it was. Fight hard, Lieutenant. Die proud. Fuck. Aye, aye, Commander. <laughs> oh my god, wasted. Well, to be fair, I didn't talk to him once. No hard feelings, I assume. Whoa, that guy... I bet that guy was cooler than Caden. He's just gone. A great man gone. Oh, okay, well. I guess that's my karma. Oh, speaking of Caden and Ashley, in case anyone asked, no, I did not romance anyone. I would have showed it if I did. Don't worry about it. I didn't romance any of them because I prefer later game romances over this one. I don't really give a shit about- I mean, I, I would be locked to just Caden, and I don't- you guys clearly know I don't care, <laughs> so- And, uh, I, Liara's fine, but it just, uh, I don't think, uh, she's a woman shepherd's cup of tea, you know? Oh! It's always the damn sniper! Ow, that actually hurt a lot. Die, bitch. Commander, you need to set the nuke and get out. We can't hold. Left flank, left flank. Suppress it, fire. Suppress it. Oh. Oh, go. Fifty percent game audio, my fucking ass. I applaud you, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power. Even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? No. A submission not preferable to extinction. You're not gonna get me, sucker. I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. 
though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. It's not gonna work, pal. They'll just annihilate you. They'll just obliterate you, pal. You're like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Okay, buddy. Whatever you say. I'm not like you. I'd rather die fighting than live as a slave. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? The Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers. Between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Damn, he's just throwing the words at me. It's always that one line. I think he's just mad that he's not actually the bad guy. Get off that saucer, coward. Are you doing- are you even doing anything? Are you stuck? Oh, okay. He can do things. Ashley, get up! What are you doing, man? Get fucked, you dinosaur bitch. Alright, Ashley, I guess you can come. Literally, your only saving grace is sometimes being funny. I'm just saying. You're still super racist, and you still have the option to just merc Rex. Damn. Bye, Caden. I... I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Who? It should have been me, Commander. You know that. I... Pff. It could have been either of you. It could have been a fucking coin toss. You're both awful.